Hey guys, it's Yoji 93 As you know, the Winter Soldier came out in Marvel's Avengers yesterday, and now it's time to rank all 12 Marvel heroes in Marvel's Avengers from the worst to the best. As you can see, I have my Black Panther shirt, my, my Black Panther shirt representing today. So let's rank these heroes. All right. So number number 12 today, you got the Hulk. Okay? So what can be said about the Hulk? So here's what can be said about the Hulk. Okay? So the Hulk is, he's a good character, but he his defense does not protect him. And he can't throw cars and he can't jump as good as he should be able to. So he's the worst on the list. I wish he was better, because I love the Hulk. I think the Hulk needs to be more indestructible, more of a threat, more more hard to kill, not as easy to go down. I wish they did better. Now, all right, so there's that for you. And now we go to Miss Marvel for number 11. So Miss Marvel... I know a lot of people have if he's people are like, well, he didn't like the show. Obviously, he doesn't like the character. So that's not true, okay? So while I did not like the show, and I have my problems with it, the character in, in Marvel Avengers I quite like. My problem is her abilities are interesting, but it's just like having Mr. Fantastic that can grow really big. It's like Mr. Fantastic and Ant-Man. And the combat is fun, but I, outside of being a support character, I never really go back to consistent consistently play as her as often as other people do so for me she's at the bottom of the list all right on to number 10 number 10 you gotta go next on the list for number 10 you gotta go jane foster's store okay so jane jane was a bit of an improvement over our main thor but she only got one new ability so it was a whole problem when she came into the Emmys, people were like, what does this chick got that's different? Like, what, what did she do that is actually happened? Like, it's so hard to tell what the plan is here and what and where the narrative for this character went. But she's pretty cool. So she gets the number 10 spot. Number 9, I gotta give it to Iron Man. Now, I know there are some Iron Man mains... They're going to get pissed, pretty pissed at me. But Tony is good, but he can be better. Um, he's got rockets, but the recharge on them kind of sucks. And just the flying is good, but it can be better. And I just, I think that he could have been done much better. All right, so that's number nine on here. Number eight, I'm going to go Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop is a pretty good character. And I think she rightfully belongs on this list. I think her teleporting is great. So she's going to go there. Then... Next up, since that's number eight, number seven, who do we got for number seven? Number seven, we got Thor. Thor is pretty, Thor is pretty good, okay? So I thought Thor was, was, was pretty good. He's, his defense is a bit low, but other than that, I think he's pretty good. All right, now number, so that, that's, that's Thor. Now on to number six is Spider-Man. Spider-Man is pretty good. Not as good as Insomniac Spider-Man. The swing has a bit of issues, but it's pretty fun to play as him. And I still enjoy him. But there are definitely aspects that could be better. Some of the combat's pretty nice with him. But otherwise, he's not my main favorite. Alright, number five is Hawkeye. Hawkeye's pretty great. I prefer him over Kate. but I, And I think his combat is really good. And really well handled. But he's not as good as these previous people on the list. Number four is Black Widow. Black Widow is awesome. She has her guns. She has her, her batons. She's just great. And then... Number three is Black Panther. Black Panther is incredible. I love Black Panther. Number two, you gotta go, um, you gotta go Captain America. And number one, Winter Soldier, baby. I love Winter Soldier. I love playing him. The gunplay is so good. It feels so amazing and epic, and I'm a fan. 